Next question, Jeff, where are you? Right there. Yeah. Um, I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for all you've done to your bodies. It's still ruining me, damn it! I mean, thank you. Crazy, man. Thank you, y'all guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Funk, for saying what needed to be said. I don't want to see another one of these. Well, thank you. So, Brent Jenkins, uh, what do you know about kayfabe? You know, it's crazy over the years. Some of this stuff that people just assume is fake in wrestling. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, it is a 100% true fact that the Kane and Undertaker are brothers. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we all know that. I, I mean, we all know about the house fire. There's records of it in the newspapers that, uh, you know, when, uh, was it, uh, yeah, it was Kane that burnt uh, his parents' house down, right? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. actually, yeah, he survived. Yeah, oh, he survived the house fire. Yeah, I remember that. It's all, like, seriously, i never forget the moment when I found out when wrestling was real. You know, a lot of people talk about, you know, hey, you know, Dusty yeah, Rhodes. Yeah, see, what else, what else is, what else is real? Well, yeah, I mean. Go ahead, Alan. I don't know. Uh, here's, here's one that I've always found interesting. Is the, the, it was almost like a, like a Cuban Missile Crisis scenario when the Japanese hijacked Raw trying to cut off Val Venus's penis. I know. So did that really right? happen? Did it cut that his penis off? Was re I don't think that they cut it a, off. It was a 100% shoot, but I mean... But he really almost lost his dick. He almost seriously lost his PNP. His PP, as they said. Or, or, oh, no, no, let's not forget that when Mae Young gave birth to a hand, that was an actual... She had a... That was a... Yeah, it was a human hand. It grew up. Because, I saw it. Yeah, because Mae Young was a cannibal, you see. And uh, she was into some pretty f freaky shit, yeah, and uh, somehow she got a hold of, off the black market, a severed hand, and she, uh, you know, she had her way with it, and it was stuck in there for a while. I remember when RoboCop and Sting beat some people up in WCW. Dude, who could forget that? That was real. Everyone knows that RoboCop was like no totally RoboCop a, is real. I know he's a, he's a government program. He's a, he's a bio. <laughs> he's a droid that was sent to, to arrest people, you know, on contact and stuff, and. What better, what better way to, to, to get, you know, uh, that believable than to team up with a professional wrestler named Sting in the WCW? I you know, know, he had to get his agenda across because Robocop's a straight-laced guy. He knew what he was doing. But, you know, there there's also stuff that they portray as real. Right. That it was fake. Bullshit, yeah. Okay. I mean, there's no way you could ever convince a guy... To take a bump off the top of a hell in the cell. No. Mankind never did that. He that never was, lost in a year. No. I know. Uh, stun doubles. Triple H didn't tear his squad. Oh, that was CG, dude. I, I uh, looked Chris into Chris Wall didn't kill his family. That was CG, or, too. Or even, I mean, who tears both quads at the same time? You expect me to believe that Vince McMahon casually jumping into a ring tears both quads at the same time? Bullshit. Yeah, That's see, what that, I said. That was fake. That was fake I shit. was like, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> you know, but you know what? When the gobbledygooker came out of the, the egg? Oh, dude. I was, a, dude, when I was a kid, I was, I was like, no way they're showing this on TV. I, this I is so intense. I can't believe a full-grown man came out of an egg, but that was real. Yeah, I did the research. I have a fifth grade social studies book that said... <laughs> That because dinosaurs, you know, dinosaur babies were pretty big and they used to come out of eggs. That's where we came from. God laid eggs. So when you ever hear the question, what came first, chicken and egg, you say God. God put the egg there and we came out of it. And we became monkeys. Oh, dude, who could forget, uh, you know, uh, Kayla Vick and Kane and Triple H. Oh, dude, when Triple that was H real. had sex with a corpse on television. I can't believe they let him have sex with a dead body on television. I know. That, but was, that was real though. Everything about that scene was realistic, right down to the lighting, the music, and the camera angles. Did you hear a moan? No! That, that dead person moan? See, that's what makes it legit. 
dead you people don't know. Yeah, you guess. <laughs> what about when Rikishi ran over Stone Cold? Oh, I remember dude. he went to jail for he that. He went to jail for that, dude. And I mean... I remember that, man. Him and The Rock are related, so you know it was real. Yep. <laughs> yeah, The Rock probably called Rikishi up that day and said, The Rock's got a proposition for you. <laughs> you know the most shocking thing, though? We need you to run over the star of the company. So. The most shocking thing was when that bad guy, who was really from Hollywood... Hulk Hogan ran over The Rock with a semi. Oh, yeah, before WrestleMania 18? Who could forget that? The Rock. I can't believe The Rock was there unscathed. Yeah, he recovered. Yeah, how did that happen? But they had a good match. They did have a great match. That was real. That it's, was all real. It's also impressive. I mean, it's rare to have one person with just God-given wrestling talent. Yes. Yeah. But the triplets of Mankind, Cactus Jack, and Duke Love, I all mean, three... Be able to be, wrestle be so good. well. I know, right? What's yeah, the odds? I mean, I know. See, what's what blew my mind is like, how do they have three completely different wrestlers? You know, uh, wrestling different styles, and it was just dude. I had a friend that saw Dude Love one night, and then he saw Mick Mick Foley, Cactus Jack, yeah, and yeah. Cactus Jack and Mankind in the span of three days. And he was like, dude, it was incredible. You wouldn't. It was almost as if, like, because he said he really. It was almost as if it was the same guy. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Slow down, slow down, text. Why don't you? Why don't you just slow down for a minute? You know, there's no way. You yeah. Know? See, I, someone tried to tell me that Owen Hart broke Stone Cold's neck during a, a botched Tombstone Pile Driver. Yeah, that was fake. Fake. Again, CG. That was fake. We underestimate see, the powers. And that that brings up another story. You're mean to tell me that Shawn Michaels comes down from the rafters, but Owen Hart couldn't do it? Uh, Owen I'm, Hart's in Mexico wrestling with Test right now. Exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that, see that's a known fact. Yeah. yeah I Lucha that. Underground touched base with it when they accidentally called that dude Owen Hart. And then the other guy, Test Martin. And although at first you look at them, they're like, they're fairly Mexican. They, they got the tans. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, the accents, and they speak pretty fluent Spanish. And I'm thinking, damn, they really did their homework. Oh, yeah. Not only that, like, all right, fucking uh, Mr. America. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I've never seen that guy. I was before. almost convinced that was Hulk Hogan. But, come on, man. Hogan doesn't look exactly like Hulk Hogan, you know? <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, come on, red, white, and blue, that's yeah, not his see, color. See, that's not red and yellow, though. That's I know, it's, difference. it's a huge difference. I think my all-time favorite, a truly inspirational story, the mentally handicapped man named Eugene. Oh, was, no, no, that, that was He was touching. really mentally handicapped. That would, it, it draws a tear to my eye. The, the, they, the they, they physic put him in man. The good, it's a... I yeah, mean, you, yeah. you get the feel-good story of the equal opportunity hire. Yes. But then, what all he overcame to be a good wrestler. A great wrestler. I know, man. I hey, know. he was in Central City not too long ago. I mean, what kind of person? Vince McMahon isn't the kind of guy, you know, that would take a special needs guy and, and, you know, bury him on TV. No, he gave him a good run. He gave him a great run. He should have been champion. That's because true. the story, I mean... You look at the guy and you feel like, you know, parents of special needs children at home believed in that. They believed in everything about it. So, you know, you know, Zach Gowan, we all knew that was bullshit too. That was fake. Yeah, he definitely had two real legs. He had two real that legs. Was that was all rubbed out and seen. I thought it was, it was really distasteful for them to pull off a leg that wasn't there. Yeah. You know, that was that was just making fun of special needs people. Which is disrespectful to uh you know, uh, to uh, Eugene, it was nah, nah. I yeah. wasn't having that. Oh, dude. I mean, where where do we go? I mean, I've got a good one. The ahead of its time CGI to make it look like Sid Vicious broke his leg when he jumped off the turn. Oh, yeah, that was fake. I mean, that thousands of wrestlers fuck. have taken thousands of jumps off the turnbuckle, and no one's ever broken their leg. Especially from a, yeah, a every, big boot in which, that you is, know... That's the most common wrestling move, move ever all seen. Top, a top rope back boot. 
Everyone does that. I mean, you, it's easy. Step one, you jump off top rope. Step two, you put all of your weight one on leg. the one leg. Of course Everyone it's going to. does it. They're pro wrestlers. I, I know. They're pro wrestlers. They're trained. So, yeah, it was bullshit. What that was is a propaganda technique to let us know that big boots don't work in high velocities. So, yeah, Sid Vicious, he, you know, he took one for the team. I saw him walk down the ramp. I did, the, the, too. The ramp after Dude, that. in fact, I saw him sprinting with earbuds in the next day. He was fine and dandy about it. You know? I mean, come on. Shockmaster. Ooh, now that dude. dude that guy was that, serious That was the fuck. most flawlessly put over gimmick I've ever seen. Oh, it was amazing. And, you know. When he busted through that, 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 that wall... And just stood up, and he was proud. Yeah, he was proud, and, and, you know, yeah, maybe there was a few malfunctions, like his helmet came off and revealed himself as Kevin Sullivan or whatever. But, yeah, whatever. You live and you learn, you forget stuff, you overlook it, because it was such a, you know, fantastic, realistic stormtrooper with sequins spray-painted on it. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, he probably was a real stormtrooper. How do I know? (laughs) Fox. Those are foxes. Oh, Those that, are two foxes, dude. Oh, breaking kayfabe here. That was really awesome. You rarely see foxes. You never see that. That was two of yeah, them. Yeah, they weren't real. But they weren't oh, real. No, of CGI not. foxes. Yeah, those were squirrels with masks glued and tails glued to bigger tails. Paint, spray painted red. But getting back to real. Yeah. It's funny how sometimes family drama makes its way onto the screen. Absolutely. Like when Vince McMahon found out that Hornswoggle was his son. Dude, you can tell oh, in his see, eyes that that's, that's totally. Vin- I know that's it Vince's was, kid. It was one of those things where until you knew, you didn't see it. But then once you found out, you were like, "That's his kid." It makes sense because you look at Shane and you look at Hornswoggle and you're like, "You're like Shane." Oh, man. of course. Yeah, you know. Well, yeah, yeah Shane's a little yeah. iffy. Hornswoggle all the fucking way. Absolutely. He even has his knees. He has. He does have. He has everything. <laughs> or. Or oh, wait a minute. All right. We know that Mick Foley has two brothers. Right. We right. know that Doink also has three other yeah. brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They said they claim that the, uh, what was his real name? Oh, it was Doink. Yeah. It was probably an acronym for uh, Damn O I N Kingsville. Yeah, yeah. And it was like four of them. Yeah. That's all real, too. I mean, shit. Everyone's got it backwards, y'all. That's all I'm saying. That's all we're trying to tell y'all, the listeners at home. Think twice yeah. when you watch Pro. Uh, believe everything you see on WWE. Pro wrestling storylines. More than likely, if people say it's fake, it's, it's real. real. And if people say it's real, it's, it's fake. fake. It's fake. Absolutely. No exceptions. <laughs> Don't even try to budge on it. Roddy Piper didn't die of heart failure. He's still logged in podcasts. I heard one last week. <laughs> 